Okay, remember, these are the curtains that I bought here for my sewing room. These are shabby sheet curtains from Rachel Ashwell. I finally found, you know, the two extra panels to go with my two panels. So now it fits my window really nicely. But it's like this. It just has a big opening here for the casing. And I don't like how flat that is. I love a flange. So I'm going to show you how I added this beautiful flange to this curtain. Okay, to get started, add your curtain onto your curtain rod, but make sure you put it on the one that's thicker because half of the curtain rod is smaller so it can go inside this side. So make sure you put it on the larger one, otherwise it's not gonna fit the larger one. So I put it on the larger one and I'm gonna take my measuring tool and I'm going to pull it up to make sure I have enough space for this curtain rod to go in and add my flange. I'm gonna do mine about two inches. So if I do two inches right to there, I have plenty of playroom for this curtain rod to go on. So I'm gonna mark mine two inches. Okay, to get started, turn your curtain over to the back side of your curtain and then get a ruler. I like the nice clear ruler so I can see my marking of two inches. I'm gonna line up two inches here and then I'm gonna get my marking tool I like to use my friction pin because after I mark it, I can just iron it and the marking will go away. But you wanna make sure you test it on your fabric to make sure it works. Because on darker fabrics, sometimes it doesn't work. But on the light fabrics, it usually works really great. But I would always test before using it. But I love these, they come in different colors. I'm gonna use black today. And I just line up my ruler. Mark two inches. Just keep pulling the curtain down. It's hard to do it in this small space, but without this camera equipment, I could just lay it out and do it much faster. And so can you. So just put that in, line up two inches. Do that all the way across. Okay, now that we finished marking our line, we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and sew directly on this line. Okay, I'm gonna use my regular foot and I'm gonna line my needle up in the middle, right with that little red dot. And I'm going to line up my marking line with the red dot. And I'm gonna do a fixed stitch or a back stitch at the beginning. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch all the way down directly on that black line that we drew. We get to the end, do a fixed stitch or a back stitch to lock in your stitches and we're done. Okay, after we finish sewing, now we're going to iron and remove the black line. See how quickly it removes it? All the markings are removed. Now we can put it on our curtain rod. Okay, and now we just insert our curtain rod. Okay, we put it on the curtain rod. And then just to adjust the flanges. Look how much prettier that looks. Okay, the finished product. Looks so much better with the flange. I love it. Unfortunately, I had to move my desk back in here so I could work. Kind of hides my curtain, but it's the best I can do. But I love the curtain and I love my new curtain rod with the pretty crystal finials on the end. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.